All right. Thank you very much, and uh, and certainly a, a big thanks to Jaspar for their leadership and support for this event, as well as their ongoing support for the standardization activities. So thank you again for that welcome speech. I'm now going to turn uh, the session over to our session chair, also a, a representative from Jaspar. Uh, so I'm going to like to welcome Yasuhiro Katani to come up, and he will take over. So Katani-san, the floor is yours. Uh, uh, thank you. Thanks for uh, Rudy uh, to introducing me. And uh, uh, how every uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I am uh, Yasuhiro Kotani from Denso, and uh, also uh, a member of Jasper as well. And uh, also, uh, as Rudy said, I am uh, chair of the uh, steering committee for uh, this year's event. And also, uh, I will be a moderator for the uh, first session, uh, first half of the, this morning session. So. Uh, yeah, as a uh, steering committee chair, uh, I would like to uh, welcome uh, this event. And uh, as you know, the uh, last year's event uh, hosted by BMW, uh, it was a great success, uh, even a virtually event. Uh, so this year, uh, we finally uh, we could have the uh, fully in-person event. Uh, today, so uh, I would like to thank for uh, thank all of you for your participation uh, to this uh, tech day, and uh, uh, so uh, today uh, we have the uh, uh, this uh, during these days, these two days uh, we have the total uh, 18 uh, technical presentation and uh, also the uh, panel session this evening. So uh, I think so this, this presentation uh, will, be, uh, will provide us uh, 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 high quality and uh, uh, state the art uh, information and uh, insight that, uh, is, uh, that are covering the various range of topics and, uh, uh, in, the total, in total eight sessions. So uh, please enjoy. Uh, this uh, presentation and uh, also the uh, discussion with uh, your colleagues and uh, making a uh, new connection, and uh, also a uh, pan panel session and uh, exhibition as well. Okay, so let's begin the uh, first session. Uh, the first session uh, is uh, uh, Young and uh, SDN, and uh, we have the, uh, two presentations. Uh, the first presentation uh, is uh, from the, uh, Jasper, so let me introduce the title and the uh, uh, speakers. Uh, please uh, show, show up. The, uh, the first presentation is a uh, uh, proposal of the dynamically uh, configured in vehicle network as an enabler of the software defined vehicles. Uh, the speakers, uh, we have the two speakers uh, from Jasper. The so one is uh, uh, Takumi Nomura san. Uh, from the Honda, and uh, another uh, speaker is uh, Katsuyuki Akizuki-san uh, from NEC. Uh, please uh, be welcome uh, on stage, and uh, uh, we are looking forward to what you present. Good morning, and Welcome to Japan. I'm Takumi Nomura, a chief engineer of Honda, and I'm also a vice chair of Jasper Next Generation High Speed Network Working Group. Good morning. Uh, I am Katsuki Akizuki from NEC Communication Systems. Uh, I am also a member of Jasper. Today, We'd like to talk about proposal of dynamically configurable in-vehicle network as an enabler of software-defined vehicle. Here are contributors. We thank Professor Yoshihiro Ito, Mr. Hideki Goto, and Jasper colleagues for kind cooperation. Okay, let me skip this, right? Okay. 
Jasper is uh, composed by 10 active working groups. We are from Next Generation High Speed Network Working Group. The mission of our group is investigating the automotive Ethernet technologies and contribute uh, international standardization. Uh, let me show our group uh, more. Our group is composed by four teams and two sub-teams. These teams, oh, sorry. These teams are mapped to physical layer, data link layer, and upper layers. Thus, uh, it, uh, it can be said that we are investigating automotive Ethernet comprehensively. Fortunately, uh, we got the opportunity to introduce our three presentations. Optical physical layer from next generation physical layer subteam. Ethernet TSN from functional development team and functional verification team. They will, be, uh, they will appear tomorrow. Uh, please look forward to them. And now, we are talking about automotive SDN from SDN sub-team. Okay, here are the contents of this presentation. Firstly, we try to define the uh, Jasper's SDB and its Enabler SDN. Secondly, uh, we will clarify the mechanism on, and functions of automotive SDN. Under these discussions, requirements corresponding to use cases are introduced by Akizuki-san. Finally, we conclude this presentation and show our future works. Okay, let's start with background. Jasper has recognized the need to incorporate SDN into the automotive network array. The application of SDN to in-vehicle networks is finally becoming a reality. Furthermore, a new concept of software-defined vehicle is emerging and attracting attention now. We'd like to show that SDN will be even more necessary for in-vehicle networks in the SDV era. Hopefully, this presentation will accelerate broader discussion and standardization. Uh, before discussing SDN, we must define the concept of SDV and uh, the requirement for the network. This figure shows the concept of Jasper's SDV. Functional evolution can be achieved by OTA. However, we consider the OTA is not sufficient to realize SDV. One more essence needed. Please look at this middle grade. According to the context, the configuration should be changed dynamically and autonomously and speedy. Across these changes, the future is unchanged. We consider that SDV should have the, such a flexibility and network should have the ability. To realize the Jasper's SDV, 
the network should be as follows. The network should have a mechanism that changes the network according to the context. The network should be changed with sufficient evidence to ensure services. The network doesn't need the connection to the cloud every time. We call this network as an enabler of SDV, Automotive SDN. Uh, currently, SDN has not been a particular technology. We have two kinds of SDN models. IEEE, sorry, IEEE 802.1 QCC model and general SDN model. As you know, IEEE has a high affinity to Ethernet TSN. Moreover, YAM models corresponding to various Ethernet TSN features uh, has been developed. Uh, uh, however, uh, it is not sufficient to uh, apply it uh, to automotive network. On the other hand, general SDN has been already uh, developed, uh, widely used successfully. Some protocols are already uh, defined. However, general SDN should adapt the restrictions of automotive systems, such as a very poor CPU performance. we must investigate the ideal SDN model further. Uh, we, want to, we want to show the Jasper's definition of automotive SDN to simplify the discussion and avoid confusion. In comparison with general SDN definition, the automotive, the automotive SDN must realize dynamic configuration for in-vehicle networks. Okay, let's discuss the details and mechanism of automotive SDN. We think SDN activation scenario goes like this. Determination of the context. Comparison of the context with the current situation. Selection the optimal configuration. Create the change schedule. Synchronization of in vehicle systems. And then SDN changes the network configuration dynamically. What exactly does this mean? We can point out four kinds of functions. Dynamic routing, blocking, flexible redundancy, and on-demand bandwidth allocation. This figure shows four example of SDN functions. Of course, there may be other functions. However, to simplify the discussion, we'd like to discuss the use cases based on this assumption. So let us consider some use cases. At first, the user is assumed to be the owner of the car. When the car is parking in the home parking lots, OTA is used for not only software updates, but also hardware updates, such as 
plug and play. So the next, the use case is the one of the OTA and SDN six use cases. It is the story of how the user arrived at the destination. Parking use case, similar, the user is assumed to be the car's owner. And OTA is used in the parking, unlike the previous use case, the time for data transmission can be shortened by changing the configuration with SDN to increase, increase the use, usable bandwidth. To increase the usable bandwidth, we are consider changing the configuration of QAB and QBV. Next, manual driving. The user manual drives the car on public road from home. Then, automatic driving, the user drives the highways and activates autonomous driving. Here, the vehicle may apply CB to improve the reliability of the transmission of control signal for autonomous driving. We aren't want to consider what happens if hacking or hardware failure occurs while driving on public roads or highways. Security use case in hacking that is unauthorized access is detected that car updates the network table or QCI configuration. Failure use case when the car detects a hardware failure, it updates the network table and apply restrictions to functions for driving. Despite everything, the user could reach their destination safely. Moreover, while driving, the car kept update the network table according to the battery level for Echo Drive. We show an architecture that can realize this use case using this circle. The center of SAC indices, the MOM, that is manager of managers. The MOM has centralized controlled over the SDN controller via noseband interface. On the other hand, the SDN controller controls SDN switches via southbound interfaces. Here, TSN toolbox, the SDN controller controls SDN switch via suspend in, uh, sorry, so, to, uh, yeah, TSN toolbox can realize required functions. Therefore, the SDN switches configure the in vehicle network according to the TSN standards. Here, we would like to show the parking use case of realizing a function using this circle. The on-demand bandwidth allocation function is used to shorten the time of transferring data from the OTA master. The configuration of QAB and QBB should be changed a guarantee enough bandwidth of pass for the on-demand bandwidth allocation function. Thus, the SDN controller asks the SDN switches to configure QAB and QBV. 
in the slide that follow, we would like to show the six use cases of OTI and SDN more concretely. In this example, parking use case, so in vehicle network has one SDN controller, four SDN switches, the car is stopping and battery driven, it updates software by OTA. In this scenario, we want to set the in vehicle network into efficiency and power saving OTA support mode. During OTA execution, the SDN controller modifies the configuration of QAB and QBV. This modification can increase the bandwidth for data transmission. The dot, dotted red line shows this transmission. As a result, the, can, the car can reduce the time of the data transmission. Thus, we would like to show the first requirement for SDN. SDN must have the mechanism to change the network according to the context. Next, we assume normal driving. Therefore, the network configuration is the default mode and the configuration of TSN is not changed. Any SDN function are not activated. Therefore, there is no SDN requirements. Next, we assume the automatic driving on highways. Thus, the, we, the network configuration should be automatic driving mode. The reliability of the data transmission for autonomous driving should be granted using CB and so on. Therefore, the network configuration is changed. The dot uh, blue lines means uh, redundant data for reliability guaranteed by CB. The requirement for SDN are one and two. So next, let us consider a use case for the detection of security attacks if the car detects security attacks, it changes the network configuration to defense mode. QCI blocks illegal traffic, or it is cut off by changing the network configuration. The requirements for SDN are one and two, three. It is also necessary to cut off legal, illegal traffic when the car cannot communicate with the outside. Therefore, the SDN controller should be able to change the network configuration autonomously. Oh, we should, should also consider dealing with failures if the car detect any failures, it change the network configuration to port restriction mode. At this time, only the minimum necessary traffic is permitted by changing network configuration. The requirement for SDN1 and 2. Finally, let us consider ecological driving. To realize ecological driving, the network configuration is set to energy saving mode. While driving, the network table is updated based on the remaining battery power. For example, it can be achieved by blocking less important communication using QCI. The requirement for SDN is one. The study of our use cases has 
clarified some requirements. First, the mechanism to change the networks according to the context is necessary. Moreover, an uh, adaptive configuration of the TSN parameters can be effective. Second, the real uh, SDN controller should be in the car to achieve the required immediacy. In addition, both synchronization and simultaneity will be required to prevent network failures by the time lag of the network setting. Third, the SDN controller should work automatically with only available information. External big, uh, external big communication is not available always. Thus, we have proposed some requirements for automotive SDN. However, we must keep investigating to clarify the details. Okay, uh, uh, we'd like to show our future works. Uh, as Akizuki-san mentioned, reconfigure the TSN parameters uh, can be the effective method. Uh, we think uh, there are two kinds of harmonizing scenario with TSN. The first one is TSN by SDN. Uh, to realize four kinds of functions, TSN parameters are controlled by SDN. Uh, this scenario can be understood easily. The other one is TSN for SDN. To realize dynamical Configure, uh, dynamically configure, uh, configuration, <clears throat> synchronization, and simultaneity among multiple ECUs may be required. For example, uh, GPTP's time synchronization can be the effective measure for SDN. We will propose TSN by for SDN to IEEE 802.1DG uh, next plenary March. Okay, we'd like to conclude this presentation. We are confident that SDV needs automotive SDN. It would be fine if there was SDN instead of just OTA. However, we need much effort regarding security, architecture, protocols, and evaluation. We, we, uh, <clears throat> we'd like to call for positive and wide-ranging discussions and for some standardization. That's all. Thank you for kind listening. Uh, thank you for a uh, nice presentation, uh, Nomura-san and uh, Kizuki-san. Uh, let me uh, one comment. Uh, so uh, there are uh, so many information regarding the uh, concept, SDN concept, uh, what Jasper is thinking, and also the uh, many use cases uh, regarding SDN. So uh, can I ask one question? Mm -hmm. uh, so regarding the how to achieve uh, this kind of the requirement you are uh, presented. Uh, do you consider this uh, uh, how to achieve uh, in Jasper or uh, OEM individual? So how to con achieve these kind of uh, uh, requirement and uh, do you consider in Jasper or not? Uh, uh, so uh, one, one more please. So J hmm? Jasper, they, uh, 
今日のリクワイアメントを、えー、考えを実現どう実現するのかを考えるのか、OEM 個別に考えるのかという質問です。To how to realize、uh, this on SDN. And, and also,、uh, we'd like to contribute uh, the uh, standardization uh, on IEEE.1DG.、Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, TSN uh, by four SDN uh, is a good uh, solution for us. So,、uh, just for us and、uh, IEEE,、uh, we'd like to discuss that part. Okay, understood. So, you,、uh, first of all, you consider in JASPER, and uh, then uh, we, you uh, bring this kind of discussion to the DG, I2B?、Mm. Yeah. Okay, understood. So,、uh, let's uh, move on to the、uh, QA discussions. So,、uh, if you have、uh, any questions,、uh, please take mic out there. And uh, uh, so, uh, uh, before uh, Q and A,、uh, please、uh, state your、uh, name and、uh, affiliation. Okay, please. Thank you for the. Is it loud already? No.、Uh, can I?、Uh, can can you turn on the mic? No. So thank you for that presentation.、Um, this is Carl Budweiser from BMW. Um, actually, we do something very, very similar. However, we would maybe not call it SDN. We do it rather, well, we don't have that MOM, that, managers or, that manager of managers, but rather we react also on the vehicle state, but、um, we try to reduce the different states by actually summarizing things. For example,、um, We would not have intrusion detection, but rather intrusion prevention running continuously, as well as if we had CB, we would not turn it off. The reason is actually now, if you change the network、uh, configuration too often, you have a lot of different sets of network configuration that need all to be all tested, right? So, my question is basically. Have you thought about the testing and how to well, test thoroughly all the different configurations because, well, they tend to multiply, right?、Uh, so, you,、uh, before、uh, applying、so、this kind of the,、uh, software changing,、mm -hmm. uh, how to test you?、Uh, uh, we think that.、Uh, uh, Uh, how to、uh, test the very、uh, important issue. Uh, so, uh, uh, currently, uh, we have、uh, no idea, but、uh, we need to、uh, investigate the, how to evaluate、uh, multiple、uh, configurations. Okay, thank you. I would recommend to summarize the, the states a little bit more so that you do not have to test too much. Okay, thank you.、Uh, any other questions? So,、uh, we have、uh, enough time to discuss, and uh, so uh, please uh, feel free to、uh, stand up and、uh, take a mic. Okay,、uh, so I also have that question. So, today、uh, you also you,、uh, presented uh, regarding the.、Uh, please, uh, Uh, show us uh, uh, maybe a、uh, QCC model and a、uh, SDN model. QCC model, SDN model. So uh, today uh, you uh, mentioned uh, almost uh, uh, below the controllers, which means the、uh, TSN functions. Uh, do you consider the uh, uh, upper layer, like、uh, application layer, and also the interface between the、uh, controllers and、uh, also the application layers? Do you consider such kind of the,、uh, requirement? Controller. 
ラーのより上,上位層のインターフェースとかリクエアメントを検討される予定はありますか Not in Jasper? I think not in Jasper. Okay, so beyond the I2P DG scope, so this kind of the upper layer, not out of scope for now? Yeah. Okay, understood. Any other question? Oh, please. Hi, this is H.T. Hong from LG Electronics. First of all, I, I'm very glad that I have a, a SDN session from, I have a presentation uh, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., so I'm very glad that I'm not alone. <laughs> so I just want to ask uh, whether Jasper is on some kind of experimenting uh, to combine this TS and SDN on your side. That's my first question. And my next question is, uh, I just want uh, to know your intuition or opinion uh, whether when uh, this SNL uh, will be realized on a real vehicle. Because uh, somebody is still keep asking me that, uh, do you think this uh, dynamic control on a real vehicle is safe or is a real implementable? But I am keep asking that that's why we are here. <laughs> we are uh, keep uh, digging this technology. Yeah. Oh, your, your first question is uh, uh, how uh, demo just in just about demonstration. Yeah, whether uh, there is a, there's some kind of a demonstration or oh, okay, experiment okay. is ongoing. And next and question. Is, next question, question is, uh, what's your opinion uh, when uh, this SNL SDN is uh, realized on a real vehicle on the road? Uh, requirement of uh, SDN is uh, investigated by uh, SDN sub team, and next uh, phase, uh, functional uh, development team uh, will uh, investigate the uh, details uh, of the technologies and uh, will make a uh, POC. Uh, we are planning to uh, develop a uh, POC uh, to. Uh, and, uh, Mm, yes, <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> and we, we, uh, we, uh, we are planning about POC. Mm. Yeah, so if we could uh, demonstrate, mm. uh, we will, uh, be, uh, we will uh, demonstrate, uh, but uh, uh, maybe uh, depending on the cost, the development cost. And uh, also, uh, next question, uh, road, road test to assure uh, the uh, of, uh, of <laughs> safety. Uh, hmm? With uh, and then say the uh, 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 road test uh, is uh, not uh, uh, out of scope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, so only one question, uh, please. Hi, my name is Jia Huang, and uh, I'm from Delta Nails Inc. Uh, currently, we are shipping the automotive arms. Please uh, turn on mic. Oh, sorry, can you hear me right now? Yeah, oh, sorry. Okay, my name is Jie Huang. I'm from Delta Electronics Inc. And uh, currently, we are shipping the automotive Ethernet switch to the major OEMs. And uh, so you saw the switch here. So how many switch you think the car can have? And uh, also in the vehicles, there are CAN bus, there are LIN, and there are also other you know, protocols. So how are you going to use the SDN and those different protocols? There are two questions. Thank you. Oh, sorry, uh, your, your question is uh, how many switches are uh, required? Yeah, how many switches is considered will put in the vehicle, one vehicle? I guess uh, this is uh, depending on the OEM's architecture, so not, not uh, cannot yeah. answer in Jasper. Yeah, from our, uh, from our experience, you know, there are, you know, the smallest one will be two switches for redundant purpose. And uh, for the wrong architecture, there are probably four switches. So, but then the, the connection for those switches may not be all in the same uh, Ethernet format. Mm -hmm.
probably where they will connect to the regular CAN box or LIN for different purpose. So how the SDN to control all the configuration in different uh, protocols? Uh, maybe uh, we need to uh, take more time to discuss such kind of uh, information. So please uh, uh, discuss in the uh, OEMs uh, in, from Jasper. Uh, please talk uh, directly. OK. OK, thank you. So uh, now it's time. Uh, let's move on to the us. Uh, Next uh, presentation. So, so thank you for uh, presentation, Nomura-san and uh, Akiko-san.